I'm using this GMC logo, but this can be any logo. Anyways, you grab a heat gun, heat up the letters, and take off the letters, okay? Now, this is the LED strips here. You can cut these, and I'll show you here. Cut it right in the middle, and you can use either side. They got the power in the ground. Now, they even have the sticky tape right behind it to set it in place in the logo. You want to order the LEDs at the bottom, not the top ones, because the top ones have big gaps. Order this kit on eBay. After that, you will download this app here. With this app, you can control all your LEDs, get multiple colors. Now, I'll be showing you how you're supposed to cut the LEDs to go inside your logo. I'm doing this on my phone, so bear with me. My lines will not be straight, so I'm just showing you an example how you're supposed to cut them out. This is the GMC logo already lit up with the LEDs inside of it. And this is how many pieces you're supposed to cut out for each letter. For the letter G, you're going to cut out five pieces and they will look just like this. One, the other one's a small one, the bottom one's a long one. Another one like this, and the last one like this. Now we're doing the letter M. Cut out an LED, straight line, cut another LED, another line going down like this and this one's a little bit smaller cut out another one but small and then another straight line going up so a total of four leds now we're doing the letter c and that's easy just three lines one two and three the top one that's it so the way you see it here is the way it sits behind the logo okay this is where you're gonna draw your hose at where these red lines are at okay to run your speaker wire then your wire will connect all four leds together Okay, now I'll be showing you how to get all these LEDs to light up together. And everything I'm using now is just an example. So you would grab some speaker wires, of course, not this fat, a smaller one. You cut the tip off, grab your LED. All the LEDs have power and ground, remember. You will put the power with the power and ground with the grounds. So for example, here goes the LED I cut. And I'm going to solder this to the power. Then solder the ground wire to the ground just like this okay then you will grab another piece put it right next to this LED and repeat the process okay so now we need something clear to go over our LEDs because we cannot use the red letters because you won't be able to see all the different colors so for example you will need something clear so I bought this product you see here in my hand and I order some color and dye and it comes with 12 different colors you can dye this any color you want but me I want it clear, but I want it to look kind of blurry, so I went with the color white, and I'm gonna show you the reason why. If I use no color dye, this is how it will look. You see how you can see the red things, and with the clear, you can see right through it. I do not want that, so for example, I use this color and dye, and it comes with all these different colors, like I said again, but I went with the color white. So now, you see the difference with the color and dye? It changes. Now let me show you both pictures. This is the reason I did it. I do not want the left side. If you do not like the idea of putting this over your LEDs, I can show you how to make the letters from scratch. You can order this product here on eBay, and with this, you can make any type of molding. After that, you will put your clear in or any color you want, just dye it. Hope all these tips help you out.